Hi there, today we're going to have a look at a really cool new Hex integration that I've just come across called the Bubble Card. So the Bubble Card has some really cool looking cards available from media plays to cover cards to columns to sub buttons and card layouts. But the really cool thing about this is the pop-up. So basically this allows you to have pop-ups on your current dashboards where it'll pop up a whole new additional set of cards. So in order to install the bubble card, you need to have hacks installed. So I will leave a link in the description below showing you how to do this. So you go along in hacks and search for bubble. And there we go, bubble card. We'll download that download it there we go then we reload so now that we've got it installed we can go along to a new dashboard that I've created called bubble card and we can edit that now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go along we're going to add what's called a vertical stack so we select that this is needed in order to create the pop-up with the bubble cards inside it so for example, we can call this, I'm gonna do this for my bathroom. So we'll give it a name, all right? And then we search for a card. So what we're gonna search up for is the bubble card. There it is. And then we're gonna select a type and we're gonna select the type pop-up. Now, what you do need to do over here is you need to give this a name, hashtag in the name, because this is gonna be used to call this pop-up card and open it up. So I'll call it hashtag bathroom because that's the pop-up that I want to use. All right, now from here on, you're going to go and add multiple sub cards to this. So we go to the one there and we search for cards. So I'm going to install another bubble card and the card type of this one, I'm gonna call a cover. So I'm going to select the cover blind tilt for the blinds that I have in the bathroom, which are controlled. Then I want to go along and I want to search for another bubble card. This time I'm going to select a type being media player. So, and I'm gonna search for, I've got a SoundTouch 30, which plays music in my bathroom. And then I'm going to go along and I'm going to add a, another bubble card. And this time it is going to be of type button. So there we go, button. Um, I'm gonna have it as a switch and I'm going to select the, um, the bathroom light strip. So there we go. Those are my three different types of cards within my pop-up. So I can now go and I can save that. So now I'm gonna create a separate card and again, I'm gonna search for the bubble card. There we go. And the card type this time I'm going to select is a button and I'm going to select the entity. I'm going to select the bathroom light strip, for example. So next what we do is we scroll down here and we go to the sub button editor. So we're going to go sub button and we're going to add a new sub button. There it is over there. We're going to open up that sub button and we're going to select tab action on button and the action we're going to select is going to be navigate now the path that we're going to navigate to is that hash that we used on the other vertical stack make sure you spell it right and make sure that the caps is the correct casing otherwise it won't work so there we go we've saved that and we can now go out of that so now we've got this button on this which is our button for our bathroom strip we can turn that on and off but if we click on the sub button over here it pops up the, all of those other entities that we've added in all those sub button bubble buttons so we can control our blinds from over here we can control our audio and we can control our lights isn't this really cool let me know what you think you can do a whole lot of customization around headings and titles and things, but I've just shown you the basics here for now. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch up with you in the next one. Bye for now.